and welcome back to Moto Maverick USA. This is Mav here, and today I'm going to tell you a little about a new mod that I just did to my 2023 Triumph Trident 660. Alright, so one of the things that the Trident does not come with is cruise control. And I'm planning on doing some longer trips with this bike, so I decided that I needed to find a solution uh, for, for cruise control, just to give my right hand a, a break on those longer stretches. And I, I did some research on a lot of different versions of throttle locks and, uh, you know, the cramp buster, the little paddle thing. And I settled on the Atlas lock, which those of you with a keen eye may have already noticed it. It's right here. Uh, it's real easy to install, only took about 10 minutes. Uh, the, the instructions that come with it are kind of dumb, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Once you kind of play around with the device a little bit, you can see how it works. Uh, I did do an install video on it because I wasn't quite sure how that was going to go. After looking at the instructions, I thought it was going to take some uh, fiddling around with to try and get it installed and, and make it work, but uh, it didn't take that long, so um, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll take it off and reinstall it, but a lot of it's just kind of figuring out which one of the spacers you need to, to put on there for it to grip uh, the hard surface. Uh, basically how it works is you push this button and it flips a, a fin out uh, which which just kind of creates friction between the throttle and the hard surface here it's a pretty pretty simple device um, it's kind of expensive I'll put a link to the one that I got on Amazon uh, in the description um, I think it's a little expensive for what it is um, but it's it definitely is functionable. I, I played around with it a little bit um, Once I get out of this light here and get on a stretch, I'll, uh, I'll show you how it works. So It's gonna take a second for me, but you're gonna cut right to it right now All right, so like I said how it works is it just uh, creates friction between the grip and the, the whatever hard surface you have here your grip attachment so once you get your throttle where you want it, you just hit this top button here. It flicks the fin out, creates that pressure, and holds the throttle in place. Pretty simple. Um, the friction isn't so much that you can't roll off if you want to or add more. Uh, but if you want to cut it off, you just hit the lower button here and now it's off. Now obviously flicking it without your hand on there can create a little jarring motion. but. I throttle on hold the throttle click it off and down pretty simple design anyway so I just thought to get out on the road and, and test it out talk about it for a second and, and give you a review of it beautiful Sunday afternoon in February as I'm recording this We've had a couple of days of, of really warm weather, which has been nice, been able to get out. January kind of sucked. Cold, rainy. Not ideal for riding. So let's, uh, let's set it on here. See how well it holds my... I'm just coming down a little bit. Let's get a little bit more actually hold me steady here obviously you got to know where to, to lock it but uh it does a pretty good job it's it's holding my throttle where I set it now depending on elevation it's not gonna adjust your speed to be the same but it just locks the throttle so definitely gonna be different than any you know electronic uh, cruise controls where you set your speed and lock it. This just sets the throttle position so You know, you're not going to be able to to cruise at a, a consistent speed unless you get real good with how you set it and You don't have any elevation changes but um, Definitely to you know to give your right hand a break it it does its job very well so um, 
obviously I haven't done any long trips on it. I just got, I just installed it, but I think it's going to do, it, it's going to serve its purpose. It's going to give my right hand an opportunity to relax uh, on any, on any long stretches of road. Uh, price, like I said, uh, I think it's kind of expensive for what it is. I don't remember what the price is off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen here so you can see it. That's as of uh, January 2024 when I bought it. So let's let's disengage it here. If I can get back on the throttle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I liked the mechanical nature of it being able to set it and, and not have to deal with any other like twists or you know bar in locks or anything like that. The the mechanism just click and click seemed pretty simple to me uh, and pretty easy to do. They do have a couple of different versions of it. Uh, this is the underneath model. I'm gonna click it on here. Is the underneath model where the bulk of it's underneath they have it also have an upper model where the bulk of it's on the top so depending on what your handlebar and, and grip configuration looks like there's a couple of different models you can choose from they also have a silver one i want the black obviously doing the blackout on the trident um, yeah it works really well I'm, I'm very pleased with that speaking of the different versions of it uh, you will want to check and see if you have enough clearance when you're in a full lock turn uh, to make sure that doesn't hit your tank i think that's why they have the upper model for the ones that have you know low clearance between the handlebars and the tank but uh, i decided to go with this one's a little sleeker it's you know you know not gonna create anything on the top end of the handlebars find a place to turn around here oh, of course the light who knows if it's actually gonna see me here all right it did give me a chance to turn that's good all right well I can't really think of anything else to say on this thing um, when I'm on my uh, next long trip, maybe I'll pop in and do a little update on what I think about it. But uh, just initial thoughts on it are, are good. I wish it was about, you know, $50 less than what it was. But, you know, I, I think it's going to pay for itself in comfort. So, anyway, a little short video today. Uh, definitely check out the Atlas Throttle Lock if you're looking for a mechanical... Uh, cruise control solution. Uh, I think it's actually going to do a, a pretty good job. So, all right, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the road. Keep the shiny side up.